guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a second part to this supermarket series that I have been running on my channel. I did a huge Tesco's haul, Tesco's F&F, the homeware and everything that they have there. So if you did miss that and wanted to check it out, I will leave it linked below in the description box. And today I decided to go into Morrison's. Morrison's. So I actually have five bags full of things to share with you today across fashion, homeware, food. So do let me know any other supermarkets you would like me to include within this series. Obviously we've done Tesco's, today's Morrison's, any others, let me know in the comments down below. And without further ado, I'm going to start with the fashion. So Morrison's fashion range is actually called Nutmeg. Love that name. And they had quite a few sale things. Not so many new things in. That's one thing I will know. The first thing I'll show you is actually underwear and it is like just a super comfortable nude, um, like almost crop top bralette style um, bra. I love wearing these on more of like an everyday basis. They did have them in white as well. Um, I did opt for a large because again, this is more of like the Sunday loungewear underwear attire that I like to wear. Very comfortable. I'm in my nice cozy loungewear. I want to feel like I've got nothing on underneath, but yet still be secure, supported. And yeah, this is, so it is in a large, this one, but it doesn't seem to be like it's going to be too big. I mean, they did have mediums and small, but I just wanted to opt for a large. It does have removable pads, which I do tend to take out. And really pretty sort of lacy pattern and detail as well. So anyway, this was £7. So now moving on to the other clothing items that I picked up. Got some great sale finds within here. So this first one is from Nutmeg at Morrison's, would you believe it? This one is like a black smock style dress. I want to say naturally, like it's nice and oversized and loose and comfortable. It's not. I bought it in a size 24. So I actually think it's designed to be like a really long blouse. I love wearing this kind of a dress just in springtime as it's getting a little bit warmer. Well, quite a bit warmer, but not quite summer hot weather. This is like a go-to for me. Nice and lightweight and float and comfortable float, floaty and comfortable. And it was in the sale from 14 pounds down to 11. This is a good little spring staple that I saw and decided to pick up again in the sale. This one full price, six pound, it was reduced to four and it's in a size 12. And it's just very simply a nice kind of lightweight, almost linen feel blouse. Then I picked up something which I can definitely get my wear out of now. And it is this super cozy knit jumper. When I tell you this is soft, if you're in Morrison's, please go and feel this because it is so soft. I like the fact that the hem at the bottom, I always appreciate this when it's slightly shorter at the front and longer at the back. So great to wear with leggings and boots. At this time of the year, oh, I just can't get over how soft this is. 16 pounds full price this one was. It was reduced down to just nine and this is in a size 20. So I did uh, size up to have like an oversized fit on me. It's like this top that I've got on from ASOS. It's just a standard fleece, but the fact that it's oversized means it's a bit longer to wear with leggings. It's literally my every single day attire. The last item that I got from the fashion range from Nutmeg, I picked up this. Now it's not my typical style and I'm not 100% sure on it but it was such a bargain that I couldn't let it go and I also just feel like even if I only wear it around the house it's super super soft and cozy and it was in the sale from 15 pounds down to just four pounds so it's like a oh, keeps falling off the hanger let me just get rid of the hanger it's like a kind of slash neck jumper in this beautiful kind of rose dusky kind of color okay next I'll show you the sort of homeware bits and cleaning bits before moving on to the food section so the first thing I picked up is a mug when can I ever go to a supermarket and not pick up a new mug and this is my favorite one that Morrison's had it's got a kind of beige aztec -y print it reminds me of something that you would find in like zara home or sustering green in manchester which is 
one of my favorite homeware stores. Um, so yeah, this was the one that I was drawn to most and thought I would pick up to show you guys. Not that I'm in need of any more mugs, but you know. And this was four pounds. And then I also picked up a sort of out and about travel style mug at two pounds, like a little, um, it's actually made from bamboo and it has one of those sort of silicon lids and grippy things nice for just like i said out and about on a little uh walk it's very emma bridgewater with the just classic fun very rarely do i actually use these but i always think it's quite handy to have them in so i picked up this set of eight for 75p super cheap comes with the lid as well okay next up i have a reed diffuser and the reason why i was drawn to this was the size of it it is giant it was 10 pounds which is definitely a little more expensive than the typical supermarket price points for reed diffusers but it's because of the size of it and it's quite nice to have a reed diffuser on display that looks pretty that is actually quite a bit bigger than your box standard size of reed diffuser so it comes with black reeds as well i think this would make a lovely gift the box is really nice it's kind of like a corrugated design lime tree and basil this one is in so who knew morrison's had aroma works products in i definitely didn't these are super luxe amazingly scented and kind of like along the neon vibes of they each have a different property in terms of the scent whether it's energized sleep de-stress these ones are the be energized and apparently when you smell them like the neon ones whichever scent you're drawn to most is the one that your body most needs because let's face it they all smell amazing but when you smell one and go oh yeah that's the one you need and i feel like being a new dog mum and having got him however many weeks ago it is and still yet to sleep through from like bedtime until 7 a.m there's always a toilet break at least even if it's at 6 a.m there's always a toilet break before we wake up so i yeah need the energy maybe apparently so i got the uh, little candle it's lemongrass and galbanum galbanum and honestly it smells like a spa i literally can just close my eyes and i'm sat in a robe and slippers in a spa right now this one was four pound fifty i think they had bigger ones as well and then the set of oils it's a duo pack it's got two in there that uplifts and eases tension in that same scent 100% natural home fragrance so you can just pop this in a little wax melt burner or an aromatic diffuser and this was seven pounds for the set of two which i think is really good because typically like the white company ones which i do have they are about 10 pounds each so to get two for seven pounds is pretty good and then morrison's also had their own branded versions of scented oils for diffusers and everything and i picked up these two because as a combination they're quite kind of festive spicy warming kind of scents cinnamon and nectarine these are only a pound each and then i think the nectarine would be nice on its own as we go into spring as well i picked up this veggie spiralizer for two pound fifty i thought this would be quite handy to um you know if you're wanting to have like the spaghetti but it's butternut squash or it's courgette courgette um then to have one of these you can do your own because the ones that come in the packet tend to be quite a lot more expensive i did pick up a dog chew from lily's kitchen this is just one of the um ones that are it's called woof brush and it's good for dental care so cleans teeth gives them the fresh breath then i got a couple of notebooks just a box standard plain and simple black spiral notebooks these were only a pound each this one actually has create on it and i like this one because it is plain not very often do you find plain notebooks that you can scribble doodle mind map do all that kind of jazz on so i picked up that and then this one is a great it's a reporter's notebook so it's good for like list making this one is lined obviously so just super handy to have if you want like an everyday to-do list and then i did also pick up two books this first one because of the look of it 
We love Peaky Blinders. This is only £4.50 and it's a really pretty kind of gold embossed design um, and it's The World of Peaky Blinders, an unofficial guide by Dan Whitehead. I thought this would be really nice to have once we've converted the loft into sort of a gentleman's, i.e. Tom's office wardrobe, also a spare room as well. We're going to go probably a bit more quirky up there with maybe some darker colours, a bit more like leathers, woods, and I thought this kind of gentleman vibe would look quite nice on display. So let me know if you are a Peaky Blinders fan. Just quite a fun little read, really. How to talk the talk. What does Ackers mean? It means money or cash. What is a bont? It's a person's head. And then this one I really saw and like the look of. It's a crime thriller type novel, which are my absolute favourites. And this is called Invisible Girl. It's by Lisa Jewell. I have read one of her books before and liked it. So I'm intrigued to give this one a try. It was only £4.50. Midnight in an area of urban wasteland where cats hunt and foxes shriek, a girl is watching. When Sapphire Maddox was 10, something terrible happened. She carried the pain of it ever since. The man she thought was going to heal her didn't. And now she hides, learning his secrets, invisible in the shadows. Owen Pick is invisible too. He's never had a girlfriend. He's never even had a friend. Nobody sees him. Nobody cares. Cares. but when sapphire goes missing from opposite his house on valentine's night suddenly the world seems to be watching owen accusing him holding him responsible for sapphire's disappearance interesting okay a few cleaning products that i stocked up on first things first are these dishwasher tablets i've never tried the morrison's own branded ones before and these are the lemon scent i usually always end up opting for the lemon or apple and these were only two pounds for 40. i picked up two news of floras the lemon zing which is my absolute fave for the warmer months spring into summer lemon zing in fact i say it's my favorite it's my joint first favourite at that time of the year. This one and the mandarin and lime one. So you can tell I like that kind of citrusy vibe. Love that. And then also this is really nice. I'm probably going to start using this one now. This was brought out as one of their autumn scents. It's called fig and cedar. And it's a really nice kind of woody but fruity at the same time. Because if it's too fruity or floral, I'm not so much a fan. But if it's a bit more citrusy and zingy or woody and musky, love. I also picked myself up a Febreze Air Mist in our front room which is pretty much the room currently anyway that Barney is living out of so just to keep it nice and pet friendly but also fresh air I always open the windows once a day just to air out the room anyway so when I do that I'll Febreze the sofas and everything with a pet friendly Febreze and then also this air mist this is pet heavy duty up to two times odor eliminating ingredients so yeah 100% natural and then last but not least for cleaning I got this Morrison's daily clean shower shine I blooming love Morrison's branding less is more you don't need any jazz or fancy stuff just keep it nice and simple so I'm going to keep this one in our bathroom. And this one was only 75p. Okay, moving on from simple Morrison's branding into the food. I wanted to clear out our kitchen cupboards and have a bit of a reorganise and rearrange of stuff. And the spice area is not looking great. So I decided to just start afresh. I was going to depot everything, label everything, make it look all pretty. But the branding for the Morrison's spices... It's pretty simple, plain and neutral anyway. So I thought I would just stock up on a load of new spices from Morrison's own brand. And when I say a load of them, <laughs> I got a load of them. They're only 95p each. Sage, Herbe de Provence, thyme, Italian seasoning, basil, dill, nutmeg. And then I also got a round nutmeg as well. But those ones actually have the full nutmegs in, which I thought looked quite cool. <laughs> Chili flakes, steak seasoning, which I think would be interesting to try. Mixed spice and star anise. And again, that one, I like the fact that it's like full uh, pieces in. And then this one's also Morrison's own brand, actually. This is pomegranate molasses, which apparently is meant to be really nice on salads um, with like, it's kind of like a balsamic dressing type alternative and it tastes nice and sweet, which is great for me because I do have a sweet tooth. And that was £3.45. And speaking of sweet tooth, I have stocked up on another syrup. This is gingerbread syrup. 
I bloomin love a gingerbread latte, even like at home DIY, because coffee stores tend to have this in seasonally, but I like it all year round. This one was three pounds. Then I went and did it. They had these. They have these on offer. I feel like these are seasonal. They're a special edition cinnamon bun latte. I can't tell you how quickly I go through these. So I stocked up on two boxes. One of them I've already opened because I couldn't resist. You only get eight sachets in a box. So if I have like one of these every day, sometimes two a day, which is bad because they're a bit, they're a treat. Let's just say that. Um, then I, yeah, go through these in a couple of weeks, that'll be gone. Um, but I also picked up the Toffee Nut Latte one, which I haven't had in a while. And I think these were on offer at £1.25 per box, which is really good. I think that's about half price. Then at £1.80, I picked myself up a Fever Tree Aromatic Tonic Water. This is the best tonic water to have with gin. It's so good. It's got Angostura, Ang Angostura bark in it. This is my go-to. If ever a bar when it's back open has the Whitley nettle gin with this tonic water so good then I got a couple of treats from the Easter section I found these dairy milk egg and spoon Oreos they do have the regular dairy milk as well but I really like this Oreo one they're only small to be honest with you they come with like they're like a Cadbury cream egg size maybe even a little bit smaller they come with like a little plastic spoon and the filling is like Oreo chocolatey goodness. So good. They are two pounds and then at only a pound I picked up some of my faves. The Reese's white chocolate put putter, peanut butter cups. This with an afternoon coffee. It's my go-to treat. It's the thing I look forward to most every single day. That's a bit dramatic, but I do really enjoy it. I got one more treat, and this is definitely a healthier one. This is a fiber one, 90 calorie bar. These ones I like the sound of because they are lemon drizzle squares. So I feel like it'll feel like a yummy kind of piece of lemon drizzle cake. You get five in a box, 30% less sugar. Then these are one pound 50 um, for a box, and there are so many different flavors. But yeah, I picked up this one. And then last but not least, to finish off this haul, Morrison's ginger beer light. So good, so yummy. This in an evening with dinner just to get that refreshing kind of spicy kick. I absolutely love them. So that was everything that I picked up from Morrison's. Again, don't forget to leave comments below of which supermarket you would like to see next. I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day and thank you so, so much for watching and I hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video. Bye guys.